We're getting new reaction tonight to developments in the investigation into the Delphi murders. State police, as we've said, investigating a possible connection between the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German and a fake social media account. CBS 4's Max Lewis joins us now in the newsroom. After speaking with the family of one of the victims and Max, they're hopeful tonight that this could lead to a break in the case. Yeah, they sure are, Bob. This upcoming February is going to mark five years since these girls were murdered. New information has come before and hopes have been high only for the case to still be unsolved. But Libby's grandfather says he'll never give up hope. I think it's another piece of the puzzle. You know what I mean? I truly do. Libby's grandfather, Mike Patty, says he's cautiously optimistic that the information Indiana State Police are looking for may be just what investigators need to find his granddaughter's killer. Not very often they police come out and ask for the public's help. Well, here's a place where somebody can step up and really help. ISP said on Monday they're looking for people who had contact with a social media account going by Anthony Schatz. Investigators have refused to say how or if it's connected to the Delphi murders. However, we've learned 27-year-old Keegan Klein was arrested shortly after the 2017 murders in connection to the fake account. He has not been officially linked to the case. Regardless, Mike Patty wants people to focus on what the police are actually looking for. They're still seeking information on anybody who's made contact with that account, you know, through any social media platform. Both Libby and Abby's families have been here before. Over the years, new sketches and evidence have come out, <laughs> giving a sense of hope. Every time they come out with something, I think it could be something, and I'm hopeful that it helps lead them to where we want to go. Only to be left without any answers. Absolutely frustrated. Frustrated that it's taken, you know, as long as it has, and then it continues on. Patty says he believes police are doing all they can to help solve this, but says it's going to take an effort from everyone to bring this killer to justice. Anything that can pertain that you may think, oh, that's insequential, you know, or it doesn't really, it's not a big deal, well, it might be. That might be the piece that they need. Don't hold back. Now, Patty told me he has no idea why investigators are now interested in this social media account, but as you heard, he wants anyone with information on it to come forward. We pressed Indiana State Police again today on what, if any, connection this account has to Abby and Libby's murder. They told us at this time they're not going to share any additional information. In the newsroom, I'm Max Lewis, CBS 4 News. Max, thank you for that update. If you have any information on that Anthony Schott social media account, Call or email Indiana State Police. You can find all this information online at cbs4indy.com.